Well, what is up, people? This is PVT3307-3301 again with another AMC2 editor tutorial video. <clears throat> this is just a continuation of the last one as um, there was another personal request that I show how to do some more things in the editor, including how to fix the destination issue that was shown. Um, if you hadn't seen it, then you should go watch the last video, I believe. It's some... Oh. It's between and at the end somewhere. I'll show you in a minute. And, um, not there. Z2. No. Yeah, that was it. Right there. So, what we're going to talk about in this video is how to fix that, basically. So, let's open up OMC Editor. And... Another up another part of the request was that I show you how to edit AI list so that it, um it shows up your repaints and that also plays into the license plate as well. Well, that's what we call them in the U.S. license plate. So I'm not sure if they're called that in the other parts of the world, but you get what I'm saying. So we're gonna open up our tutorial map. If you remember, the name was Richmond, but there you go. And so what we're gonna do first is wait, wait. No, I need this open. Sorry. So what we're gonna do is I'm going to find my SDK folder, which contains the software I used to create the Hoff or the Depot folder, and then we're gonna open it again. So. I just looked at this file and I found what was wrong that you see where it says annex first row, annex second row, or annex front first and second row. You need to have you need to enter something for um those two, one or two, in order for the boss to display something. Otherwise I'll just have that blank space. Thing you saw in the last video so we're going to enter this is Richmond bus station just because that's where it goes um row bands I can t I'll probably talk about later but let's just fix this issue first um, rich Oh my goodness. BC. No. Oh, there we go. Alright, so now we have that. And let's save it. And now, what we'll do now is I'll talk about how to edit the AI list. So you're going to want to go into your map folder that you want to edit the AI list in. In this case, it's the new map folder. Oh, um, let me do one thing. Let's just put that there. Yeah, yeah, it's my desktop screen. It's awesome. No. Um so when you copy a new fo when you copy a new map, it's always gonna have an AI list that looks like this. And then whenever it looks like that, it's gonna start spawning buses randomly as if it was a regular car. And you're what you're gonna wanna do is you're gonna to want to go into the maps directory again and go to the Grundorf folder and then copy the AI list folder from Grundorf and you're gonna put it into your new map. And like I and I think I mentioned this in the last video is because it'll spawn randomly and this will also help when you're doing the um the TT data or the timetable data. And so, what you want to focus on is this little part right here, where it's, it'll say something like AI Group Depot, um, and then it'll say something like buses, and then, and then it'll say the, um, the depot name, which is Grundorf in this case, and then it'll say something like this AI Group Depot Type Group 2. And then it'll show a directory of the vehicle that it's going to use. In this case, it's the MAN GN92. 
and then below that it will display the numbers that the, the OMC should use in this case 2530 and 2535 and then you have what the license plate is going to say which is GRN hyphen V and then a space followed by a 35 so that'll be um, the license what the license plate says and now we'll get back to editing the AI list that I already had in there. So let's just put that back. Okay, so this is your AI list, right? So in order to insert repaints and reg um, license plates, what you want to do is after the number, you'll put well, you'll want to put one tab. And that's for every reg plate that you want on or license plate. And then for repaints, you'll just want to put another tab. If there's no reg if there's no license plate, then take then it's two tabs. So it should be right about there. But we'll keep that oh, okay. Let's just change that to a different number. There. So what you'll do is you'll put another tab in, and then let's just use the Hovland um, repaint. And then you'll do that for every bus that you want. And you can also vary as well. So. As long as you have a certain repaint or any repaint that you have in that specified vehicle folder that's in the textures, you can use it. So you, as you see, I have one here that I created for my map. There's the Hovland folder that I'm going to tell OMSI to use. There's a test. There's a, a transparent test there, as you see. And there's one for Winsonburg 2015. So. Let's just tell it to use Wins Winsenberg 2015. Oops, I had to add second N. One for this one. This is a CT transit repaint that I created for my map. And whoops. Let's just make sure that we have this right to prevent any errors. Um, oh, that must be it then. Alright, so I'm not going to worry about that right now. And then we'll just have the last one be beige. And I'll just be called that. Whoops, beige. <laughs> so, you'll save it. And then, um... You should make sure that you spelled it right. See, I entered in C C T T. I should have entered in the full C T transit. Um there. So then you'll save it and make sure that the names are correct, otherwise it'll just appear as some random repaint or honestly it'll throw out a boatload of errors at you, as it's very famous for doing that. And if you want, you can specify other files, such as the GN92 underscore rad underscore V underscore HVL. You get what I'm saying. So you can specify files like these right here. So it'll change it from that ugly old BVG beige to a Hovland gray, which is typically used in a lot of repaints like in um, Gladbeck or in Winsonburg, I believe. Well, I don't know. It's used on the GN on the Arctic. So yeah, you'll specify those files as Farbshima wheel F and Farbshima wheel B for, I guess, text or color texture or something. I'm not sure, because I know Farb means color in German and Shima means like plan. But the point is, that's what OMC is looking for whenever you specify this file. So I'll have that. No, it'll have so the item at the top, then the repaint number, I mean name, then the command that 
it needs to replace the texture with, and then the texture. And then, what you have even below this is another command that tells OMSI to do something with the vehicle model. It will be first followed by a set var, then, some, then the command itself, and then a 0 or a 1 for yes or no. 1 being yes, 0 being no. So in this case, it says, oh, the flags should be invisible because I'm not sure if you've seen it, but normally there are supposed to be flags on the BBG buses that look like this. They're on either side. Um, they're usually above the blinkers on the NL202 and, and the, N, the NG272. But since this is a one, they won't appear. And just to show you what this does, I'll, yeah. All right, so I will change back my OMSI now so it opens up the regular game. And then we'll run OMSI. So that I can show you that these repaints work. And then there's a whole bunch of other features that I might go over in other in later videos, but since someone needs some help with their map, I wanted to go over these first. And the more maps the better because the more diversity and all that stuff. Alright, so now we're going to change this is to when the bus runs, if you remember. And if you if this is the first time watching the video, it's between 8 o'clock and 1 o'clock in the afternoon. So we'll just keep that. Let's just change that to. Hmm. Change that. No. Let's set that to March. And then we'll just keep that where it is. And as you see, it's a torn map again. And then we'll run it. And since there's nothing new on the map, we'll start again at Richmond Bus Station. Um, I believe the bus should be rather close to Richmond. I'm not entirely sure, but, um, wait, well, we'll just look when the map opens up as, all right. As you, can, you might be able to see, I have some DirectX 9 errors, but that has to do with a truck. Just a truck being stupid. And we'll just set time back a little bit. Set it to 9.56. So the bus should be here by then. As you see, since we entered some stuff in the um, annex sections, the, des the destination now displays Richmond Bus Station. And the bus now proceeds. And then after some given time, the bus should pull around and change destinations. Um, yeah, see, at 10 o'clock it departs. So, and then there's the, reg the license, license rate, excuse me, that we put in which was RBC 6617. And now, to show you, um, oh, back on the bus. Right, let's just change that to like 55, to show you what the destination, will, what the bus should look like when it changes. Yeah, it'll look like that. So, It'll always use a different bus, as far as I know, and I'm just going to change the time really quickly, so that I can show you that. As you see, since it's a different day, it uses a different bus, bus 7102, and 
and it uses the HVL repair that I specified and the regulation plate or license plate. And so I think that's all there is to know about this video. you success for building on your maps in the future and that'll be all for today this has been pvta 3307 3301 with another um, video and i will see you all later